Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Uh, this week I'm going to be talking about uh, squirrels. I had one of these uh, about a month ago. I think I talked to you guys about it. I don't know if my wife's posted it on YouTube yet, but uh, how you know you got squirrels? Well, they sound loud. Um, she said that it, she could hear her feet running around up there. Um, there was two of them. So her dad got up there and looked around and he said he saw some chewed up wires. Uh, mice, you know, they tend to typically just chew right on the top of the white jacket, but when they start chewing like this, you got to get that replaced. Um, I had one in Boulder uh, last year, about a year and a half ago, that he chewed almost every wire going through where the eave was, going right through there to the panel, and it all got chewed right up against the eave where all the nails and came down from the roof being tacked down. Um, so this one luckily was just out in the open. Uh, someone had ran a ceiling fan up there a while back and it was definitely put in after the house was built and there was a lot of extra wire. Uh, squirrels, I, I think that I've seen in 17 years, they just seem to nest in one spot. Um, mice tend to burrow through the insulation and they just nibble all a bunch of areas, a bunch of different spots. So this, this spot right here was just, just the switch leg. It was above insulation. Um, I don't too often see them dig into the insulation to chew. It seems like if there's stuff up above, they'll chew on it like a rabbit would. Um, but you can see this in your backyard where rabbits will do that as well. But it chewed up, you know, about a good 15 feet here. And uh, just many times coming back and forth. I'm not sure if they're doing it just because of their teeth like rabbits do or if they're doing it just because uh, they like the shock value. But um, what's interesting is right here, they would actually ground it out. We've got white, ground, and hot. And those are teeth marked, probably about the size of a squirrel. So he definitely was getting shorted on his teeth. But was interesting, though, they never complained that the breaker was tricky. So, and it was on an arc fault breaker. This house is built in 2002, about 12 years old, um, maybe 2003. But they had an arc fault on here, an older style, and it never sensed it. It didn't trip it, to my knowledge. So, um, not sure why it would not trip, but as soon as, as soon as I cut through the wire, I had to switch off. And I cut through, it still tripped the arc fault because the ground and the neutral were actually had continuity at that moment, though the power was off. Um, so I had to reset the breaker just to get this spliced in. So real simple to do, just hit a splice box on this side, a splice box on that side, tack your staples, put a blank cover, um, you know, eight connectors. If you're doing the push connectors and you're done. But uh, if you get a bunch of these where you're just hitting about, you know, 15 different home runs into the panel, yeah, at that point, you can call your homeowner's insurance. Maybe they'll cover that. And then usually they have to get all the insulation sucked out. Uh, and you're going to want it because if they've been living up there a long time, you're going to smell a lot of different odors. And they'll usually spray that with and pre-treat it and then fix the wiring and then, you know, push all the insulation back in and blow it in with new stuff. So anyways, thanks guys. Hopefully it helps you out.